Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Frozen Melon, and today we're actually starting a new arena run because with the latest expansion released, it has reset my ladder. Which, if we go into here, you can see here I've got a free ticket. We'll decline that for now. But anyway, seeing as we did actually have to finish that run, might as well open the pack and see what we get. We're more likely to get some of the new cards from the expansion just on the epics. Which would be quite nice. So let's have a look at some of these. So Torn by Kai Dredge gain armor equal to its cost. Quite good. Next bar cry. Next two bar two Merlock cost two less. And look at three cards your opponent has in hand. Each one the cap play next turn. Not bad. And that's gonna be quite a good tournament as well. Very interesting. Anyway, that's not what we're here for today. We're going to start a new arena run. So the new expansion cards, haven't really looked at them. Don't really know much information about them. But if stuff pops up, stuff pops up. We've just done a Warlock one. We've always done a Druid one. So let's do a Paladin. So um, I'm going to pick that up. I think good ball clear is going to be something good. Yeah, that's going to be pretty good to heal up as well. And Divine Shield, Life Steal. I think it's actually good. Yeah, we'll pick up the dredge. Another dredge as well. Um, we could go for some dragon synergy. Let's try it. You know, we do get quite a lot of dragons, and that's tradable. I'm having destruction. That gives me random spell. That is a mech that is really good. But that's got Dragon Synergy. Oh. <laughs> I can't pass up on the Leviathan. As much as I probably would want to. Um, yeah, we'll take a Reef Walker. It gets something out there. Um, Night Captain. Always really good to have. Amalgam, just because it is a two drop that can get me other stuff. Like, it's just a really good card. Uh, we'll take a Blessing of Kings, because I need some 4-drops. Yeah, we'll take another Dredge. If you're holding a Holy Spell, gain to form Divine Shields. That can be like a really good 3-drop. So we'll pick it up. Do I have any Holy Spells? 1 Holy Spell, 2 Holy Spells, 3 Holy Spells. Yep, it is worthwhile. Um, not a good drop. Not really. Uh, I guess we'll pick the Judgment. Uh, four mana, I have a good amount of spells. Draw a minion. Or something a bit more competitive. We'll pick up the Hog Rider. Can't be played. Nibble mounts. Uh, True Silver is a really good weapon. That can actually snowball and get me more cards. We'll pick another Naga here. Spell on this minion, draw a card. Hmm. Now we'll take the removal. Uh, Death Rattle is pointless. I will take another True Silver. Having two of them is going to be what I probably want to do. Um, Holy Bridge, yeah. Merit Water Scribe. Yeah, Horde Pillager, actually. Um, and what lies in stone. It's just a really good card. Spot on this minion, it gains plus two attack. Hmm. Now, other than the one drops I have, I don't really have many two drops I can just play. So I'll take a map bomber. And a uh, plated beetle, yeah. Okay, that is kind of annoying. I wanted to get more dragons, but I literally only got offered one dragon and the amalgam. So that's not really going to work. So we'll just have to go around it with sort of our mid-range deck here. Um, topping off with sort of the two big mech cards and the holy spell. Anyway, let's jump in.
three drop, a better three drop, toss the five drop. I really can't keep that, I need more. And if I can't keep that, I'm not keeping that. So, yeah, although it's like the better one, that still does the job of what I want it would like and I want it to do. Coining that out doesn't really do much. Or that either, because you'll just trade straight into it. You can just coin this out instead, or coin this out, which I'll probably coin this out. Okay. That is a not a bad turn for me. Go in the Reef Walker, kill off that. And then we've got some good uh, backup plays as well. But even then, it's not like these two here. Okay, I think we're against a new player. With that being the case, I just want to make sure I maintain good value. Uh, so I'm on a 5 5 defender. If your hero is healed this turn, yeah, that's probably worth it. Just a 5 5. Like, I'm not going to get the healing off unless, like, turn 8. So. I don't have a one drop. I could go to two, but that's kind of pointless. So we'll just do this. Make the trade. So we can do this if we want to and play the two drop, which is kind of the play here. And I got a seven drop. I don't have the weapon there, so we'll take the immortalized stone and put that on top. Like, they're using a lot just to deal with that, and yeah. Mm. Play that out, play that out. Make the trade there. Nothing else dies, so I just keep that alive. And if they don't trade into something, then I got this to basically draw straight, rush straight into it. And whatever else he plays, so my Leviathan can do the job it needs to. And what we we'll do, we'll take that, and then we'll draw it. And next turn, we get to pull off a little bit of a combo. Play this, heal up. This one's going to take damage, that is. Now uh, that being the case, play it this, then that.
So either they can do that again, which I'm getting really annoyed if they can. So I can kill one off is pretty much what we're saying here. That gives me two, three. I got three on board. I'm not going to get any healing anytime soon, so I just play the five, five taunt. Yeah, and set that to there. But they're going to want to value trade to a certain point. So this at least prevent sort of any value going on because it'll turn something to 1-1, one, one, which makes it even awkward for them to make like, decent trades. But that was their lowest cost card, wasn't it? Or did they top deck that? I cannot... No. I think that was their lowest cost card. So like, they're using everything here to try and clear the board, so... As long as my top decks are pretty good. I've got a good chance. So first of all, um, let's just hit that, do this. Um, a true silver champion is the best one I need. Then, because some stuff does have three, and we'll do that. So they get a 5-5 five, five off that. They're trading, they're trading. It's good news for me. Because at this point now, I'm literally just uh, trying to outvalue them, and I've got good weapons. I'm not getting the... What is it on this one? Yeah, the Amalgam and the, the Horde Pillager. So I've got a good chance of getting like the other True Silver, a Knight Captain, things that can do like really good stuff. I gotta play that out. Oh, this is annoying. Like, they've just drawn all the heavy stuff, and I don't have any more heavy stuff. <laughs> uh, the only thing that can make this worse is if I now top deck the peasant. Okay. But yeah, that's GG. I can't win from here. Oh, that's a real shame. I mean, we got everything we needed and we still didn't have enough just to get through it all. Anyway, I hope you do enjoy the first run. If you do, do leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I will see you all in the next one. Take care.